Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to install and also troubleshoot the drivers for your AMD Radeon graphics card. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so it's that time of year, it's the uh, holiday season, and quite a few of us are probably getting gifts for Christmas, maybe a graphics card if we're very lucky. So what do you need to do if you've got a new graphics card and you need to upgrade your system? Well, the first thing you need to do is to remove the old graphics card, which in this case is going to be either this, the kind of older GTX 660 Ti, or this one here is a GTX 970. Now the graphics card doesn't particularly matter. The principles are going to be the same in either option that I'm going to be showing you. So what we're going to do is first of all, I'm going to show you how to physically install the graphics card. Then we're going to show you how to install the drivers for it but also we're gonna show you how to remove any previously existing drivers on the system to make sure that everything goes just as it should. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is to remove the graphics card. But before we do that, it's always a good idea, if possible, to try and download the very latest drivers for the graphics card that you're installing. Now, in this case, it's gonna be an AMD card, so we can go to amd.com and choose our driver from the drop-down list. Now, once we've done that, it's also a really good idea to download the display driver uninstaller. Now this is an application which you can run which will remove any traces of previous graphics cards from your system. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to AMD site and we're gonna download the new Radeon driver for our graphics card. So just type in AMD uh, or amd.com and go to drivers and support. And then scroll down a little bit more and you can choose your product. So we want graphics and in our case we're going to be using an RX 480. So it's a 400 series. Choose 400 series there and write down RX 480. Now if you're not sure of what model graphics card you've got, generally on the back of the graphics card there'll be a serial number or some kind of identification which will tell you what it is. Or alternatively just look on the box. So once you're happy you've got the right driver, click on Submit. And then AMD, as will NVIDIA, will show you the latest versions that are available. So you've got optional version that was released on the 19th. Today is the 24th, so that's a pretty new one. And there's a slightly older version. So depending on what they've changed now, I personally would go for the one which is the one behind the newest. But again, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to go with the... Uh, 18.12.2 so then you get the option of what do you want to do with this piece of software so we want to save and let's do save as because we want to save it to the desktop so we know where it is so that's going to carry on and download so whilst we're waiting for that we could get the uh, display driver uninstaller or DDU so just type in DDU in your search bar and there's various sites you can get it from uh, Guru3D is a site I've used for many years so I would uh, I would recommend you use them so it gives you a, a brief description of what the DDU uninstaller is and the various versions etc so I'm going to download the version from the United Kingdom as I'm in the United Kingdom so hopefully it'll be a nice fast download And eventually you should get a pop-up saying, what do you want to do? So again, we'll do the same. We'll do the save as, and we'll save it to the desktop. So all of our downloads are finished. So we'll close all the windows. So on our desktop now, we've got the Windows 10 64-bit driver for the graphics card, and we've got the display driver and installer. So let's quickly un unzip that. So just choose Extract All and Extract the folder. And inside the folder, we've got the application. Okay. Now, the display driver uninstaller works best if you run the system in safe mode. Now, it's not entirely imperative that you do it, but it does work a lot better if you do use it in safe mode. So I'm going to go ahead now and tell the computer to shut down, but we're going to get it to come back in safe mode. 
Now, one of the easiest ways of doing this is if you hold the shift key while you click on restart, that will enable safe mode. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So keep the shift key held, click on the start menu, then power, then restart. And there we go, we can come into safe mode. So what we want to do is troubleshoot the PC and choose advanced options and then start up settings. And we get options in here such as safe mode, etc. And here we get our safe, menu, safe mode menu. So we want to enable safe mode, so we'll just hit number four. Now I do apologize for the green output on this. This is something to do with my capture card, not the system. Okay, so if we go in our guru3d.com and click on the application and just choose to run and then it will extract itself again. So then you can choose the display driver uninstaller. So this is what it looks like and essentially you can go in and choose whichever graphics card you've got. So in select device type, we'll choose GPU and then you get the choice of AMD, Nvidia or Intel. So in this case, we're going to go for AMD. And now we've got options to clean and restart, clean and do not restart or clean and shut down. So we'll just do clean and restart. Actually, if you're installing a graphics card at this point, it's probably a good idea to do clean and shut down. So we'll go ahead now and actually, I'll change my mind, I'll do clean and shut down because this is for installing a new graphics card. So the display driver and installer now will go ahead in the background and remove things like registry installations or program references, all that kind of thing just to remove any of the existing AMD software from the system or NVIDIA if you've chosen NVIDIA. So now the machine's shut down, so what we can do now is get our screwdriver and install or remove and reinstall the graphics card. So in most cases, graphics cards are really simple to uninstall. It's just a matter of turning off the power just to be on the safe side, removing your power from the card itself. And generally it's probably just gonna be a couple of screws holding the graphics card in. So once you've removed the power and all the connectors, Sometimes you'll find there's a release tab, which you can just about see there on the back of the PCI Express slot. And you either have to press it in or flick it out of the way to remove the card. To remove any cables such as HDMI or DisplayPort cables, VGA, that kind of thing. And then while supporting the card, press in the clip and gently wiggle the card free from the motherboard. Mm -hmm. So there we go. There's our graphics card removed and obviously to reinstall it is the reverse. So line up the graphics card with the PCI Express slot and also the lugs on the back for the motherboard. And then firmly press the graphics card into position. You can then reconnect your HDMI cable, reinstall your securing screws And finally, reconnect the power for the graphics card. Give it another push, make sure everything's firmly attached. You can then restore power to the PC. And then press the power button to turn it all back on. So when the machine's rebooted or rebooting, I would suggest disconnecting your uh, Wi-Fi or your ethernet cable, just to prevent the system downloading drivers from the Windows update, which Although they will work, they're not always the best drivers and they probably won't get you the best performance in games. So remove your ethernet cable. So now on the desktop, we've got our drivers and our, we're ready to go. So all you need to do is double click on the new driver 
and because we've disconnected the ethernet the smart screen cannot be run uh, cannot be reached so just hit run and the Radeon installation is pretty much straightforward it's just a matter of clicking install and uh, carrying on now when the installer actually does start up there is an option in there where you can perform a clean install which will do to some extent the same thing as the display driver uninstaller but for the, uh, the cleanest operation to remove both NVIDIA and AEMD drivers and potentially a uh, Intel drivers if you've got them on your system I would say display driver uninstaller is probably the better way to go but as with all things PC it is entirely up to you you do whatever you feel best with this is just the uh, process that I've used many times and I find it to work really well okay so we have to go through the boring stuff of uh, agreeing to everything now you can choose here accept and express install which will basically go ahead and do everything for you or you can do accept and custom install so things like the Radeon Relive you can choose to install or not install and you can choose to customize various aspects of the driver but we'll just go ahead and do accept and express install and this whole process of installing the driver shouldn't take more than a few minutes if for any reason the installation gets stuck or hangs at some point then reboot the system back into safe mode and try the uh, drive uninstaller again just to make sure you did remove all remnants but we're all done so Radeon software 1812.2 has been installed and um, now we've got the option to restart now or close now that is entirely up to you I personally generally just choose close and carry on uh, but you can do whichever you want Now this time when you've got your driver installed and everything's done it's a really good idea to run a benchmark such as the heaven benchmark just to make sure that everything's working right and it's a quick and easy way of testing the performance of your card and also seeing if there's been any uh, performance improvements over your previous card so that has been how to install your AMD Radeon graphics card and also how to potentially troubleshoot any problems by using the display driver uninstaller I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully you all have a great Christmas. Thanks for watching.